everybody, welcome back for another video. Today in the vlog every day in uh, February, we are gonna be doing a little bit of a planning. And then I'm talking about, I'm gonna talk about something that I wanna do inside of my standard uh, traveler's notebook. And the main reason is there's, there's really not much planning to do for this week. Um, so, oh, and I got the new, Art journaling magazine today in the mail. I have not not in the mail. Um, Barnes and Noble. That's where it was. Um, I have a lot of these, and I think I want to turn them into um, journaling collage fodder. Um, <laughs> you know. So so we'll see. But I I just there were some beautiful things in here, and um. Like all these vintagey, yeah, it's it's pretty. Like, look at those colors. I don't journal like this anymore, um, but I still can admire how beautiful it is. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Anyways, we'll set that aside too. But, I have a new mat down. This is, I don't know if you can see, but it says print pressions. You can see I have it over the table. Um, it is a, like a dark gray. It's a faux leather, you know, kind of like those um, writing desk cover pad things and um, it's really beautiful and it's really quite large. It's so much larger than you see here on the screen. Like it, it it's, it's pretty amazing. And it was only, it's like last year's inventory. So I think it was like $14. And then because of the size and the box they had to put it in, um, it's gotta be at least 30 inches by 15 or something like that. I mean, it's it's huge. Um, so I just thought I would share. He had them in a, a bunch of different colors still available on his webpage. He had a new release of a bunch of stuff, but I decided I, there wasn't anything I wanted planner wise, but I really liked the idea of this because then I can just peel it up if, if I want to see the the faux wood desk, <laughs> but I, I kind of like the, it just, it feels nice. I've seen a lot of those leather topped desks and um, I worry with like, you know, the kitty and all of that. Cause at least, I mean, this is a faux material and I only spent, you know, $14 plus shipping on it. Um, actually, wait, I have it in my insert for my, yeah, $20. Really, 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 really reasonable. Um, so here we are, we're still in my personal size. I am going to go all year using personal size. I've made it almost two whole months. <laughs> Yay me. Um, no, but I'm, I'm loving the size. And and you know, if, if I had only this written on a standard size piece of paper, just these three things, I'd feel guilty about wasting paper. But in here, I don't because it's, you know, so condensed. Um, okay, so I'm just going over my schedule. And I, I'm liking the fact that uh, that got rescheduled. Um, I, I'm liking it. So let me just review last week to see if there's any uh, any things that didn't get done. Um, 
I was supposed to have a um, faculty recital in early um, early March, but you know, due to a COVID scare, like someone that someone works with in a job outside of teaching at the university. Yeah, so all of that. So so we're kind of isolating because we had to, to be together. Um, so we've had to track our temperatures. And actually, I forgot to take it today. So I'm doing great. Um, so we're just playing it safe and um, social distancing for 14 days. Um, Okay, so here we are on Monday the 22nd through Sunday the 28th. Okay, I've got my TCC teaching on Monday, my TCC on Tuesday, plus one private student that's getting ready for college auditions. This is going to be rescheduled, the recording session. We're going to be doing that in the middle of March. Um, so I'll have information about that when that's due. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's how my week looks. I got Temple on Friday. And then I think we have um, Havdala on Saturday at sundown. And that's that. I think it's a Torah temple on the 26th, but that's, that's okay. I don't need the precise time. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a, I had a sore throat, stubby nose, sinusy, headachey. My lower back did hurt early in the week, like a lot, but then I got new insoles and it went away. So I think it was more of my, I need to get new shoes. <laughs> um, so Monday, I've got my virtual office hours. I'm doing 12.30 to 2. I usually end up using that time for practicing or doing grades. I'll probably be grading because the students had assignments due on Friday. Um, 2 to 3 is a student. 3 to 4 is a student the 23rd. So that's all I'm doing teaching on Monday. This is the lightest semester I've ever had in my life. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. Office hours, 12.30 to 2. Uh, let's see. 2 to 3. Three to four, four to five. And that's <laughs> all I have scheduled. Um, this week, you can see I've been keeping track of my, um, vlog every day in um, February, vlog every day in February. Uh, what was that one that I did that little, uh, it was my channel promo. I created a little channel promo <laughs> with little Miss Lila and myself. She's sitting over there on a chair. The husband has um, a bunch of his sweaters on and around the chair, and I think she likes the soft cushiness of it. Um, and then this one, vlog every day in February, plan with me, 2-23 through 2-25. So, oh, 
22. Sorry, 22. I know there was a day or two that I missed um, due to rehearsal schedules and stuff like that. Um, something I do need to do is I do need to set up a um, repertoire for this recital. I think we're going to be recording here in March. We'll see. Um, and the only other thing that we have to do is, like, the only thing that I really need to schedule is laundry. So we're going to go to my favorite method of putting these jobs on post-it notes and putting them throughout the week. So maybe laundry on Wednesday. Um, I do need to practice a lot this week. There's some recordings that are coming up that I need to get ready for. So what I'm going to do... Ah. And then when I practice that day, I will write it down and then move it to a future day so that way I don't have a bunch of little practice tabs on every page, although I could do that. I mean, I have a ton of these. A lot of people ask about these little post-it notes. Um, this is one of the sets from Poi and Hun. It's P-O-I and H-U-N. Um, I've used so many of these. It came with a bunch of these marble ones, little marble flags, and then kind of like a, a blush, uh, like a pink, and it's, I'm not sure if it's gray or a purple or gurple, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> um, yeah. But I just keep this in my little zipper pouch here with other post-it notes and little stickers and stuff like that, elastics. Um, so there, that's the, um, really the extent of my planning. I did want to transfer the stuff from this post-it to the f main chart, which I think I, all except for today. So I haven't done the final dishes yet, but the trash was taken out, litter, didn't do the pet water because it was done the other day, it's nice and clean. I haven't gotten the coffee ready, but the, the little children were fed, and the laundry we didn't do. It's been a couple of weeks, a week now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess it's been eleven days since we did laundry. It means when we go this probably Tuesday or Wednesday, we're gonna have a lot of laundry to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so there we are. Um, okay. And then I've done what I need to do in there, and I don't need to do anything in here. This is just a notes journal. Some stuff that I need to do to update my bio. 
Um, I need to, I have two degrees and I need to rewrite my bio and I need to update it and um, just because I, I don't think I have it uh, written in a way that really showcases the um, unique qualities that I have as, you know, an orchestral musician, as a chamber musician, as a musician that performs on period instruments. I play, you know, recorders and Baroque flutes and classical flutes and Renaissance transverse flutes. And um, I, I don't know. I have a really hard time with self-promotion. Um, I, I don't ever want to come off sounding like braggy, ooh, look at me, but that's one of the things that you have to do as an artist is not not brag, but you know, you need to draw attention to things. And and I think being the type of introvert that I am, I have a really hard time doing that. Um and, you know, I think it, it could have been sometimes, you know, at a detriment to my career, you know? Um, so what I was thinking of doing, um, wait, let me find my other journal. Oh, we got a set of these. Remember those um, Sharpie? S gel pens. <laughs> I've already got to clean this out again. That we got in the champagne me metallic. Well, they have them in a gunmetal, like kind of like a steel gray color. And they are so pretty. So I gave one to the husband because it's his favorite pen. And then I have one for me. And we have two champagnes and two of the steels as backups. And then I even think we have for him um, refills. But I'm trying to find my journal, where'd it go? Here it is. Like I was, I was, I've been writing a lot. I've been doing, you know, cute kind of kawaii doodly things. Um, but I've been, I've been writing a lot. Um, like where did I put that stuff? Oh, something I thought that was so funny is, so here we are in this. <laughs> it was funny. I was watching a, a live of. Planning with Kristen, she calls it a planorama instead of a whatever we're going through right now. Um, and I thought that was hilarious. But um, I was thinking, I, thought, I find it funny. I had changed my YouTube channel name to Planning with John. And then I kept looking at my... I kept looking at everything and going like, what am I really planning? I'm marking down in a calendar here, just like two, sometimes three days of teaching or a meeting or things like that. There really is no um, planning. Um, and I, I was like, I find it funny that I changed my handle all places to planning with John. Um, and, and one reason for doing that is I had like different names everywhere. Um, like, way, way, way back in the day, my um, Instagram handle, here, I'll use the new one, I'll take that little thing off. My Instagram handle was J-R-T-R-A-V-E-R-S-O. And that was kind of how I was known. Um, and a lot of people think, oh, he must be Italian, look at that last name. Traverso. No. Um, <laughs> so the J means John. The R means Rush. And a Traverso is a Baroque flute. <laughs> That's really all it is. It was, um, 
you know, it was you know, what I set my Instagram at. It's what I sent my Twitter at. It was what I sent um, YouTube at, which then they changed to like your names after a certain period of time. And then I never went and changed it back. And, and so I started to have like some things as genre, some things planning, some things this, some things whatever. Um, and so last year, <laughs> You know, I changed everything to planning with John, and and even like the Etsy store, I changed to planning with John, and and the reason for that was, before we were Peaky, Dory. Designs. Or PDD, which. The reason for Peaky was for having you know a Pekingese puppy, having Seamus, Dory because everything that I was doing at that time had to do with, you know. Midori Traveler's Notebooks, like what these things are. And then I, I always got funny, or felt funny about having part of the name of another company in my name. So I was like, let's get rid of that. And and the designs part I liked, but, you know. And then I, th I did think like, what about Peaky Designs? And it's like, I don't know. And so since I changed it to Planning with John on Instagram, I'm like, that kind of makes more sense because of the the items that I do occasionally sell on, um, you know, on Etsy are planning items. They're calendars, they're covers, they're, you know, planning items. So, um, oh, this is the, the cute little card that came with it. And can you imagine having yourself on a little post-it note? There's Kane. <laughs> it's cute. And then I just glued down some of his, uh, tissue paper that came with it. Um... But, you know, so I, I've, I've been thinking, like, this last year, you know, has really kind of, you know, shown people for who they are and what things really are. And um, I just, it's really been an odd year that just keeps... <laughs> you know, getting stranger and stranger. Oh, the husband brought home for Valentine's Day a little box of, like a sampler box of chocolates, and this was on the cover of it, a bunch of pens and markers and brushes, so I cut it out. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Um... <clears throat> So, so yeah, I don't know. So just, just a weird, weird, um, just a strange year. Um, I, I was doing some writing and I was thinking about some things that I, I really want to do. You know, I, I want to drink more water. I, I want to tidy up our spaces. I want to like really clean, you know. Um, I want to eat healthy. I want to stretch more, like stretch like a cat, you know, like when I see Lila doing all these <clears throat> stretches, she's looking at me kind of funny. Um, you know, it, I don't know, just, just my rambles for the day. Um, yeah, so I've been working in this, this is a B6. If you all know me, I am not a B6 person. I got this notebook a long time ago. I started it in 2018, in the end of May. And then I think I used it through like June, maybe? June 4th, June 6th, June 7th, June 8th. June 9th, this is June 10th of 2018, June 12th, June 16th, the 21st, and then September, <laughs> September, and then January of 2021. Um, and I haven't done much journaling in here this month. Um, and, you know, there we are, February 3rd. I mean, it's the last week of 
February, and you know, there's the 19th, the 20th. I did do back here some colored pencil swatches. Um, but I've kind of, uh, I don't know what it is. I did do some doodling. I have all of these um, like paint swatches. Uh, these actually are aqua pastels from Jane Davenport and I just did some little doodles. And um, I did some some here. There's that little birdie that I did the tutorial of. I decided to do one here. And then, um, like, it's a bunch more. Some coffee cups, some flowers, a cactus, a mermaid. Just a silly little doodle with a hat. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> and then these. But, um, yeah, but it, it does let me know that B6 is not my preferred size at all. Um, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this. I'm going to finish it up. Um, I was thinking of, you know, testing the paper, because I haven't used this paper in a while, getting some of my watercolors out and, you know, just having some fun with the paper and, and see what it does. And, you know, I don't have any serious plans for this. I don't, um, and since I'm actually kind of in like a, not in a journaling funk, but I did so much journaling in November, December, January. Um, like, I mean, I finished two really large notebooks and and um I think I you know journaled a lot that I kind of do need the time so I'm gonna you know maybe do some more colored pencil swatches in here because I I don't know there's just something that's so calming to me about doing them and I've done a lot of colored pencil swatches and and I, I do like seeing the, the color order, and I do like seeing how pretty they look, and it makes me get my supplies in the correct order. Um, but, yeah, so, but what I was, something that I was thinking was, uh, how do I, and it kind of has to go back to, you know, to my, like, m the majority of my jobs Oh, actually, all of them are creative jobs. So I spend, you know, half a day practicing, half a day teaching on Mondays and Tuesdays and, and Wednesdays. Except I have no teaching this Wednesday. Um, and then the other days I practice and then I have, um, I do journaling or art or, um, you know, doing designing covers and stuff like that. Even though I haven't released any, I have so many. I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. Um, and, and what I, I was thinking is like, up until this last year, I've, you know, been playing principal flute with the Tulsa Symphony for 15 years. And, um, you know, I have usually, usually and it's it's actually like all the time i have number one very little say in the music that i play i have very little say in the artistic output of it and i have very little say in what i do like when i'm sitting in the orchestra i'm like a, i was funny i was talking to chad about this today i'm like a cog in a machine um i'm like a sprocket in a sprocket in a space lease you know machine or a cog in a cogswell cog is if you if you're thinking of um uh, what's that cartoon? The Jetsons. Um, you know, I'm, I just, my job is to go boop, boop, boop. And if I go boop, <laughs> stop. Or if I go boop, stop. You know, like, like I have a certain job and a function to perform. And, and you know, when you're sitting there in an orchestra, um, you know, you are just one in 
you know, you have your first violins, your second violins, your violas, your cellos, your bass, your flutes, piccolos, oboes, clarinets, bassoons, French horns, trumpets, trombones, tuba, percussion, you've got harp. You know, you've got all of these instruments that kind of have to lay together like this. And so, like, it's, it's something I remember some flutists saying in the past, like, playing in an orchestra is one of the most amazing experiences it is when you know you get you know anywhere between 35 to 115 120 musicians all working as one creating this this symphonic sound it it can be one of the most amazing moving experiences you'll ever have number 2 is you know you have no say in what you do, how you do, where you do. So it, it's it's such a, a dichotomy of being creative, but not being creative. Um, it, it would be like you know an artist showing up at a at a canvas and someone saying, "Okay, you're going to paint blue here. You're going to paint green here. You're going to put red there. Just one dot of purple here, and three specks of yellow there." You know stuff. You don't see that, and of course, it's a different type of art form. But you know, it's it's something that it's 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 made me think a lot. Um, you know, and and with with the arts and with music, I I love playing my flute and and I love teaching. But you know, this this last year has shown me how um, how in ways it's been good for me, and in ways it's been bad for me because. Um, you know, we, number one, have such a hectic schedule. When you're busy, you're really busy. When you're not busy, you really are not busy. And this has shown, um, you know, how the arts, how we have issues with arts and, and people's value of them. When, you know, when the, the shutdowns started, people turned to the arts for help and release. And, you know, so many musicians and dancers and singers, well, singers are musicians too, but a different type of musician. Um, I, ever, I don't ever want singers or vocalists to think that they're not musicians because what they do is so incredibly challenging and demanding with, with their voices. Um, I'm sitting here and talking for like 20 minutes and <clears throat> I'm scratchy. Can you imagine having to controlled scream for two hours in an opera? <laughs> that takes strength for that. Um, so, um, you know, it just, you know, we were kind of forced in a way by organizations to allow f uh, performances of ours from the past to go up. Uh, where we don't, you know, have any, uh, we don't get any compensation from, um, whether it be, you know, chamber concerts, full orchestral performances, or ballet, or opera. It's happened all over across the country, across the world. Um, and then you see the things that are happening with the Metropolitan Opera, and they're, they're trying to break the union for the musicians, and for, it's just, it's heart-wrenching to see that happen and you know it, it it just has me question so many things um about everything sorry my i have a little i did dishes and i got a little gunk under my nails um yeah so that's kind of the headspace i'm in right now and it's you know, I, I haven't played or performed that much this year. Normally we're performing every weekend. I mean, the last full week we had was up until the 13th of March. And then I've had maybe one concert a month since then. Um, I can't think of a time in my life where I've had only one concert a month. And it's, and I might have three things next month. <laughs> You know, it's like, wait, <laughs> that feels like a full steam run from a, you know, a, a dead sit. Um, so it just, it just makes me really 
think, you know, because when we're performing, there's like this, you know, we get this, all of this adrenaline uh, coming, you know, because of, of what we're doing. We have just all of this um, energy that comes through us that, like on a night when we have a rehearsal, if I get home from a rehearsal, like at 10, I can't be even begin to think about falling asleep until around 1 or 1.30 because I've got all of this, you know, adrenaline in my system. Um, and, you know, it, it makes me wonder if my adrenal glands, you know, if I was having adrenal fatigue because when we slowed down, like, I slept for days. Um, normally, I would get up and, you know, just have to go through but since we weren't and it's 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 interesting you know like i was eating so unhealthy then um i'm eating better now but of course i've put on weight because i'm not as mobile as i was but i don't know it's just this year sure has been a year um haven't seen my parents in Gosh, when was the last time we saw them? Thanksgiving of 2019, Chad and I drove out. We took the whole week off, spent it out there, and then drove back. And, you know, that was the last time I saw my family, other than, you know, like a, a phone call or a FaceTime or a Zoom or something like that. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just been... Odd. So that's just kind of where I am and where I'm at. But so I pulled this out. I, I don't know why. But what I was thinking of doing was I was thinking of keeping my little sketch journal in here. In this journal, doing all of my swatches, like you see, I've started my art supply swatches. Um, I'm going to do all the pencils first. And then like brush pens and and probably do like watercolors and stuff in the back. And it's it's Tomoe River paper, which is you know the Hobonichi paper and you know all of that type of stuff. Um, and then what I was thinking of also putting in here, like the stuff that's in this this insert is just kind of like a general notes insert which really is kind of the same thing that I have in here. Um, of course, just slightly different things. Um, I was thinking of maybe cutting down a Midori uh, MD lightweight, not lightweight, an M a Midori MD paper A5 insert to a standard, because I love that paper, and maybe turning that into a travel journal. And I know you're thinking, um, but John, no one's traveling. Yes, I know no one's traveling. But what I was thinking of doing it was turning it into a travel journal for places I want to travel. Like, I want to go to Japan, I want to go to Tokyo, I want to go to Kyoto. Um, you know, there's. I want to see the that beautiful temple that they have outside of Kyoto. I, I mean, you know, there. I want to do that. I, um, Chad and I want to go visit uh, Israel. There's a a whole list of places that that we want to go in Israel. I would love to visit Florence, um, in Italy. I know everyone goes to like you know Venice and Rome and all that, but I want to go to Florence because of the the dome of the cathedral. Um, it has significance. There's a, um, a uh, really beautiful piece. One of my favorite composers from that time is Josquin de Pré, and he wrote a piece called Absalom Filimi. Um, <laughs> let me write that down so you can, I'll just put it in here. So, the composer, his name is Josquin. De Pray. He um, was a, an interesting composer, and he wrote some of the most beautiful music. He wrote a piece called Ave Maria, 
And of course, there's tons of pieces called Ave Maria, but this one you'll see if you ever listen to it is dot, 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 Virgo Sereno. Ave Maria. De... Beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's quintessential Josquin Dupre writing. Paired voices, vocal imitation, gorgeous. Um, but he wrote a piece called Absalom Fili Me. It was, uh, it's a, f I think it's five part. I haven't looked at the score in years, but it's five part vocal, vocal writing. And it was written for the consecration, consecration of the dome at the cathedral in Florence. Didn't the dome fall down a few years ago? Um, it took them forever to build the dome um, because it had fallen a few times because of how large it was. Um, and, you know, when you try to do that, so they had to, you know, they had to create geometry <laughs> or new geometry, I guess, since geometry was created by the Greeks. Um, you know, they had to create new geometry, but, um, um, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Absolutely feeling me. Um, and actually I had a little puppy. His name was Josquin. Actually, this is an old photo and I'm not sure if you're going to get a glare. Yeah, that's kind of good. He was a, uh, Schnauzer Sheltie mix. And, um, I got him when I lived in Louisiana. Um, musician friends of mine from Bulgaria had, um, two dogs. They had a, uh, um, oh, what was her name? Her name, I think, I think they called her Blackie. She was a black miniature schnauzer. And, um, his father was a stray that was a Shetland sheep dog. And, um, yeah. So I had named him Josquin. And I had another kitty, which I don't have a photo of here. He was a beautiful um, black and white Maine Coon. Huge kitty, huge kitty. Um, and his name was, um, well, he had lots of names because I had his mother, Samantha, and um, she gave birth, she was a stray, a calico that gave birth to five kittens. And I just named them when they came out, ab, uh, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon. <laughs> <laughs> and he was Beta. He was the second one born. Um, and then my sister had him for a while. She took him and she named him Patches because he was white with black patches. Um, and then she got married and her husband was deathly allergic to cats. So I, I said, if you ever need to find a home for him, I will take him back. Well, I no longer had their mother... Like, that kitty, she actually went to a friend of mine. Because um, I had moved into an apartment where I could only have one pet, the dog. And then eventually moved into a new apartment where I could have two. So when I got the little boy, I named him Josquin. What was... He only really ever came to Kitty or Miso. I can't remember what... I, oh my god, it was another, um, Renaissance composer. I'm totally drawing a blank, but I never called him that. I called him Kitty, or Miso. Um, but it, yeah, Bashwa! Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. I'm getting old. Bashwa was what his little name was, but he only ever came to Kitty or miso, like miso soup. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what I think I want to do. I want to create a travel journal about places I want to travel. I'm writing it down because if I write things down, they get done. If I don't write things down, they don't get done. So... This is my intention. There. 
Is one of them a different point? 1.7 and 1.5? Do they do that? Hmm. Anyways, so that's what I want to do. And I haven't decided... Yeah, actually, I have decided. Uh, this week, I'm going to film a video. Someone had wanted to see how I cut down big notebooks. I have a Midori MD grid notebook that I'm going to cut down to standard size. That I will not be using for a travel journal because that's like 170 pages. Oh, that won't take forever to fill. Um, but I have one of the MD A5 lightweight inserts, um, which is basically the same paper that comes in the insert that you get with when you buy a Midori notebook. Um, and so what I was thinking of doing is maybe even setting up like keeping this one for that type of stuff and maybe setting up one of my other traveler's notebooks for, um, how do you say, like a uh, travel journal and have it have all of those, those fun things that I want to do, places I want to go. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we are. I'm still in my little quartet of brown, and I, I'm not sure if I want to use like a camel or one of the blue ones, or I have another brown one, or maybe one of the olive ones. I haven't decided really what I'm going to do. So we'll see about that. Um, so there we go. I'm just gonna kind of end my little little chitty chatty right here and um thank you so much for watching um thank you for joining me this month it's sure been a strange month um and what's odd is we keep saying that month after month after month for almost a year gee it's been a strange month um so it's been a month. Let's just leave it at that. Um, so like always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.